after uh, Daytona, do you remember Bob Day? I do remember Bob Day. So I and Bob Day and a couple of the guys did the port of the Windows 95 user interface over to NT. And we got it running on the NT351, basically. Um, and that was sort of integral to the Tech Willow project. And it was helpful in killing off Cairo, but I didn't get to go to any of those cool meetings. So what actually happened in those years in behind the scenes? <laughs> you know, what happened was they hired Alchin. And Alchin came from Banyan. And Bill was big on Alchin. And Alchin had these grand ideas about building this user interface and Cairo and everything. And, and um, Windows 95 had been brought out that interface and was pretty popular. And, you know, we wanted to bring that over to NT. And it's, no, we got to take it to Cairo. And so... You remember Megan Bliss? Mm -hmm. Megan Bliss and I convinced Jim Alchin that we could do Tuck Willa and Cairo at the same time. That we had enough lab horsepower to do that. Of course, you know, I don't know why he bought this story, but he bought this story. We said, here's what we'll do is, you know, we'll basically still have the two groups. We'll have the Cairo group, and we'll have the Tuck Willa group. He didn't like the name Tuck Willa. And the the T-shirt, I don't remember the T-shirt, it says... I was going to wear it tonight, but I said... It says, it's, it's, it says Tuck Willa. We can get there from here. Yeah. We can get there from here. We would put priority getting a Cairo out of the build lab first, and then we get the rest of it out. And it turned out that every day, Tuck Willa just came out. Every day. And Cairo was always broken. Right. It took forever. And little by little, the Cairo features didn't get done. And they never, one of the things we did with, with NTFS, we said, you guys can change the file structure as many times as you want, but you can't stop people from booting old systems and using old file structures. You have to either do an upgrade in place or you have to accept the old stuff. We're going to be dog food on this file system. The OFS guys never did that. Right to the very end, and they kept promising and promising. So they didn't get all of the, the burn in. Right. And eventually they missed a date. They said, OFS is gone. So that's gone. So little by little, these features, they just never delivered. And they just never delivered. And Tuck Willa just kept growing and growing and growing. And eventually, the only thing that I can remember that we really brought over, actually maybe two things. I think we brought over the, ser the file server software. I think that that replaced the NT one. And the other thing we brought over was Kerberos. Those are the only two things about Cairo. Everything else was junked. Really? Completely junked on the floor. Um, it just wasn't there. The people, um, I can't really, I, I guess I shouldn't really say anything. There's a lot of good guys that worked on Cairo. Um, and I don't, I just don't think that the whole project had the focus and the desire to make it really great. And it just fell by the way, because, you know, on the other side of the fence is the NT group and they're not letting up. They got, they're full on the throttle. And Megan did a great job of selling all this. We, it was, I can remember the day we did this with Alchin. We're in one of the conference rooms in Building 36 and said, hey, we could, we'll just do, Tuckwell will just be a backup. It's just a backup. NT40, I think, is, is still one of the most popular ones that ever sold. Yeah. Uh, I ran into somebody, I don't know, a couple of years ago. That was still running. NT, they still had NT40 running on something. They still loved it. Yeah, I've got it on a Model 95 over there. Yeah. The big IBM tower. 